All right, Katia from Cup of Soul Show. We Hi guys, nice to meet you. I have to ask, how hard is it like just to do it? I think it's one thing when you watch a show like this at home, you're like, oh, seven hours, nothing. But I know being there, and I'm, you probably thought it too before you did season one, like, oh, seven hours, I can do it. But something happens all the, on all these food shows. But I think with baking, because it's so precise, like you can't wing it. How hard was adjusting and just getting something done that's impressive, uniquely you, within seven hours? Ashley, let's start with you. Yeah, um, thanks for having us, by the way. Um, I think the hardest thing definitely being put under any sort of time constraint is, you know, we're, we're creative professionals and we are perfectionist. So we, ha it's a fine balance between like, all right, what am I going to just let go of and have to be okay with versus what do I want to make look perfect right now? And in a perfect world, these creations, we would spend, I mean, as a cake artist, I could spend weeks on some of these creations. So having to release some of that control and just being okay with it not being picture perfect, like I, if I had multiple days to work on it, I find that that's sometimes like mentally the biggest challenge. What about you, Maya Camille? Um, for me, it is, um, you know, it's something that we're all used to, I think, as working chefs. We are we all know that we have to be malleable and we have to be quick on our feet because um, it's not just on the show that sometimes things don't turn out the way that we want it to. It happens in our real life uh, every day when we're in the kitchen cooking. So it's something that it's a muscle that we've been able to train in terms of um, knowing how to switch gears and to improvise on the spot. My other question is, what have you learned from each other? Like this is season two, everyone has their specialty, but you know, what have you picked up from each other that you've kind of like are now put into your little bag of tricks? Let's start with you, Ashley. Yeah, so um, Maya Camille has definitely encouraged me to like step outside of the box when it comes to certain flavor combinations. Um, Christoph, seeing his uh, pastry illusions come to life and Gonzo with his chocolate work, like working with the rest of the squad helps to encourage me to step outside of my comfort zone, which is cake decorating and being able to really work and feel confident in other mediums. What about you, Maya Camille? I am always, you know, looking to learn a new skill because only the truly intelligent never stop learning. So when I am around my peers on a base squad who are immensely talented, I'm always trying to pick up a new skill, whether I'm watching them or I'm asking them, hey, teach me how to do this. Um, you know, I don't blow sugar, <laughs> but Kristoff would be in the corner, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, making amazing is shaped out of sugar just by using air um, and blowing the air into a ball of sugar and molding it. He's a sculptor. So, um, you know, I work well with my hands too, but I don't have the experience in um, sugar work. And so I'm always looking to learn something new from Kristoff when it comes to sugar work or even chocolates. You know, I, um, I'm really insanely interested in learning how to create new molds and um, Gonzo creates molds in his sleep <laughs> every day all day he's creating a new mold and so to me to watch others is so fascinating for me and just by watching I'm learning even if I'm not actively making something or doing something I'm learning from Ashley when she does like a checkerboard style cake or when she's able to hide things inside of a cake so that you have a certain reveal moment that's not something I have experience in so I'm always fascinated when watching base squad members do their thing that they are experts in sometimes you learn what not to do <laughs> when, <laughs> definitely I was joking saying something when you said about hiding things in cakes and I was joking saying oh. sometimes you learn what not to do <laughs> how to avoid mistakes these last couple of years have been hard for all of us. What are you finding now that we're getting together again? We're 
thank goodness, you know, um, being able to celebrate. What is the one thing that people are requesting from you and via like business women? Like, what's the one thing that people are saying, okay, just go for it? Because, you know, I think for me personally, I don't really care about calorie count anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy food. I'm going to just lean into it. Let's start with you, Ashley. I think that after what we've gone through in the past few years with the pandemic, people are less interested in things and they're more interested in experiences. And what we offer at Base Squad is not just an actual tangible dessert, but we are offering an experience to have an emotional connection through the dessert that we bake for the guests. And you, Ashley. I think one of the biggest things I took away from the pandemic is just learning like what's important where do I want to put my time and the things like your calorie counts like you know what really matters when it comes down to it yeah have the donut have the piece of cake you're going to be fine unless you have like a you know diabetes of course watch your sugar intake but like have fun like let's not be so serious and put all these restraints on ourselves like life is so short it can change in an instant so whatever you can be doing today and in this present moment, which is all that we have to really be true to yourself and live your life to the fullest, uh, do it. Yeah, you well, can always do a little bit of something just as long as in moderation, right, Ashley? <laughs> yeah, moderation's key. Yep. Well, I want to thank you ladies so much for speaking with me today. I love the show. I feel like, you know, it gives me an excuse to say, if we don't have the dessert, these ladies are going to be out of business. So I might as well, you know, I want to make sure that I support the economy and why not with baked goods. All right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much and best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Katya. All right, Katya, I'm going to move you.